Ladies and gentlemen, if I can please ask for your attention. Mesdames, Messieurs, je demanderai votre attention, s'il vous plaît. Merci, thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome the Prime Minister of Canada, the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, and the Federal Minister of Health, the Honourable Tony Clement. Accompagnant le Premier ministre et le ministre de la Santé sont la Dr Marlene Smadou, présidente de l'Association des infirmières et infirmiers du Canada, President of the CNA, as well as Mary Jo Haddad, President and CEO of the Hospital for Sick Children. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this event in honor of the Canadian Nurses Association's centennial year. Je m'appelle Sylvie Bigram, Mesdames, Messieurs, me fait grand plaisir vous accueillir à cette célébration du centenaire de l'Association des infirmières et infirmiers du Canada. Thank you to all of you for joining us and joining CNA in recognition of its 100th anniversary and, most especially, the contributions of some 270,000 registered nurses to Canada's quality of life. J'aimerais aussi vous présenter d'autres invités qui sont avec nous aujourd'hui. Madame Lucille Offray is the Chief Executive Officer of the CNA. CNA board members and CNA special guests, most especially the Honorable Jake Epp, member of the Centennial Leadership Cabinet and a for former Federal Minister of Health. Welcome, Minister. Representing the Hospital for Sick Children today are Ms. Connie Sugiyama, the Vice Chair of Sick Kids Board of Trustees, Ms. Patsy Anderson, Chair of the Sick Kids Foundation, Dr. Gail Donner, member of the Board of Trustees and Professor Emeritus and former Dean of the Faculty of Nursing at the University of Toronto, Ms. Margaret Keatings, Chief of Interprofessional Practice and Chief Nurse Executive, as well as the amazing nurses who work here at SickKids. And of course, we have 14 exceptional registered nurses from across Canada who are our guests of honor today, and you will be meeting them all shortly. And now I give you the president and CEO of Sick Kids. Please welcome Mary Jo Haddad. Good mor morning, and merci, Sylvie. Prime Minister Harper, Minister Clement, Dr. Smedu, and honored guests and colleagues. Bienvenue aux Sick Kids. We are honored to be the venue today for this signature event for the Canadian Nursing Association's centennial year. Thank you for choosing us to be part of this extraordinary historical event. It's a great privilege for me to be here today, welcoming nurses representing every province and territory, and to recognize the many accomplishments of Canadian nurses, one of our nation's most treasured resource. When I stand at a podium, I find myself speaking first and foremost as a nurse. I have never been more proud of this profession, the one I chose several decades ago. Nursing reinforces a very powerful perspective on the delivery of patient care. My own views and values about how a hospital should run took root several decades ago as a young nurse in the neonatal intensive care unit. It's there on the front lines that I learned the value of teamwork and the important role leadership plays. Whether we are caring for patients in a hospital, a community walk-in clinic, or a refugee camp halfway across the world, nurses have their fingers on the pulse of how health care should be delivered. On this special occasion, I'd like to acknowledge the historical contributions of all the nurses that paved the way for all of us to follow. Without the vision and commitment of a nurse named Elizabeth McMaster, who back in 1875 founded the Hospital for Sick Children, I wouldn't be standing here today. When Elizabeth started this hospital, she had a vision. She set out to make sure that every sick child in Toronto had somewhere to go for excellent care. Over the years, leadership of the hospital has always risen to the challenge of living that vision. And I know if Elizabeth were here today, she would be very proud of her chosen profession and of the legacy and the many achievements of this great organization. The future for nurses is bright. Canadian nurses have much to be proud of. 
We are recognized around the world for providing exemplary care and leadership. Our voices are heard. We are partners in the delivery of health care. We are leaders breaking new ground for the health and well-being of Canadians. The future of the Canadian Nursing Association is promising, and I congratulate you on this past 100 years, and here's to 100 more. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Haddad, and thank you for hosting us today. This historic year of the 100th anniversary of the Canadian Nurses Association provides an opportunity to both celebrate the contributions and achievements of nurses, both past and present, and to advance the role of the nursing profession in strengthening the health system for all Canadians. Please turn your attention now to the video screen for our centennial year feature film, otherwise known as 100 Years in 100 Seconds. Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez accueillir le ministre fédéral de la Santé. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Federal Minister of Health, the Honorable Tony Clement. Alors, uh, merci uh, Sylvie. Uh, welcome to everybody. Uh, bienvenue tout le monde. Uh, thank you for your warm welcome. And um, of course, uh, very pleased to be back here at Sick Children's Hospital to 
offer my personal congratulations to the Canadian Nurses Association as, as they celebrate 100 years of caring for Canadians, as we saw in that wonderful uh, presentation. Now, in May of last year, uh, I was with uh, officials from the CNA, uh, and we had an event in Ottawa uh, honoring nurses returning from Afghanistan. And, and once again, I, uh, at that event, I was reminded, and I'm re as I'm reminded here today, of the crucial contribution that our nurses make for the health and safety of Canadians, not only at home, but also abroad as well. I'm also very honoured, of course, to introduce our special guest and next speaker. Uh, now, uh, Prime Minister, we just celebrated an anniversary as well. Uh, we are now into our third year in office. Uh, obviously, we have a little bit of a ways to go to catch up to 100 years that the, C <laughs> the nurses and CNA have, but uh, uh, one can only aspire. Um, it's been my privilege, of course, to the share the stage with our Prime Minister several times over the last couple of years to announce some extremely significant health-related activities. In 2006, for instance, we were able to announce Canada's world-leading chemicals management plan, and we became the first nation to complete the categorization of all of our legacy chemicals, and now the onus is on our industry, on Canadian industry, to prove that they are using chemicals safely or else they have to change their practices. Nous avons également annoncé l'établissement du partenariat canadien contre le cancer, une initiative sans précédent qui sauvera les vies en assurant que tous les Canadiens, peu importe où ils, ils habitent, auront accès aux informations les plus récentes et les plus pertinentes sur le traitement du cancer. We, uh, we also announced with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation a groundbreaking HIV AIDS vaccination research program, not only for Canada, but for the entire world. And with the provinces, we reached agreements on wait time guarantees, a major step towards improving timely access to health care for all Canadians. Last summer, we joined Senator Michael Kirby in announcing the creation of the Canadian Mental Health Commission a brand new organization that will improve the quality of life for Canadians suffering from mental illness and their families, not least by fighting the stigma associated with psychological disorders. So as you can see, the government has made health care one of its highest priorities, providing national leadership on a wide range of critical health issues. But I got to tell you, no matter what any health minister says, he or she cannot do their job unless there is leadership at the top. And ladies and gentlemen, we have leadership at the top. And please join me in welcoming the man who is providing it for all of Canada and all of the issues that we face, our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Stephen Harper. Good morning. First of all, uh, thank all of you for that uh, wonderful welcome here at the hospital today. Thank you, uh, Tony, for your kind introduction. Tony uh, had the narrowest election victory in the last federal election. How many votes was it? 28, 28 votes. 28 votes that has made a, a tremendously positive difference to our government. We really do appreciate your efforts, Tony. J'aimerais remercier l'Association des infirmières des infirmiers du Canada de m'inviter à participer au lancement de l'année du centenaire de l'association. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to thank the Canadian Nurses Association and its president, Marlene Smedu, for inviting me to participate in this. <coughs> Excuse me. A glass of water here. For in inviting me to participate in this, the kickoff of the association centennial year. Usually, uh, I tell people, usually when it comes to uh, 100 birthday wishes in Canada, that's actually the responsibility of Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, but she couldn't be here today, so I hope you don't mind me <laughs> standing in for her. Uh, I'd also like to thank Sick Kids Hospital, including uh, President and CEO Mary Jo Haddad, for once again uh, hosting us and for hosting this particular historic event. It's hard to imagine a more appropriate venue. Sick Kids has been healing Canadian children for well over a century. The same reverence for life, commitment to excellence, and compassion for our fellow human beings has guided this hospital and the CNA throughout both of your histories. 
I'm also honored to share an audience with 14 nurses from across Canada today, nurses who are being recognized for their exemplary leadership and diverse contributions to our national health care system. Collectively, they represent the amazing breadth of specialization and expertise that we find in modern Canadian nursing. Nurses, as uh, someone once observed, are with us every step of the way in life. They greet and cloak us at the moment of birth. They assist us in times of personal injury or illness. They inform and comfort us when we're tending for our loved ones, and they are often at our bedside when the journey is complete. Les infirmières, les infirmiers canadiens, je suis fier de le dire, sont parmi les meilleurs du monde. Non seulement ils ont reçu la meilleure formation qui soit, mais ils ont la réputation durement gagnée et bien mérité de combiner empathie et compétence alors qu'ils travaillent sous pression. Canadian nurses, I'm proud to say, are among the very best in the world. Not only is their training second to none, but Canadian nurses have also a hard-earned and well-deserved reputation for combining empathy with skill and grace under pressure. An equally deserved characteristic of Canadian nurses, in my view, is courage. Canadian history is filled with stories of nurses who've lived and worked in extraordinarily difficult and dangerous conditions. In the settlement era, nurses were often the only source of local medical expertise and care. To this day, in fact, nurses are often the frontline heart health workers in our small, remote communities, especially on First Nations reserves and in Canada's north. Nurses volunteered in huge numbers to go overseas during the First and Second World Wars and shared the grim realities and real dangers with those who face combat, just as they are today, many in Afghanistan. They risked their own lives to save fellow Canadians during the devastating influenza of 1919. And as recently as the 2003 SARS crisis here in Toronto, Canadian nurses demonstrated once again that their first thought is for their patients, even when it means putting themselves in danger. As the national voice of a large number of the 270,000 registered nurses in Canada today, the Canadian Nurses Association deserves a lot of the credit for the high quality of nursing in Canada. You've made tremendous contributions to primary health reform, improving practice environments, and pressing for better, more consistent regulatory policies from coast to coast to coast. I'm sure I can speak for the Minister when I say that the CNA is a strong and effective advocate for nurses. I know nurses appreciate these efforts, but be aware that the government appreciates these efforts. I can tell you the Minister has said to me uh, and others have said to me, but particularly the minister in this government has said to me, there's probably no group in Canada when it comes to the health care system that comes forward more consistently with positive recommendations on how things can be improved, how things can be improved for the system and for patients, not for themselves or not with complaints. And that is a tremendous, uh, a tremendous uh, uh, contribution, not only by your association, but obviously a contribution that represents uh, the profession that you stand for. The CNA has quite a schedule of activities planned to mark its centennial year. I'm particularly interested in the Symposium on Health and the Environment that is scheduled for this spring. This is, of course, a topic of great importance to the federal government, and I look forward to receiving the results of your deliberations. Félicitations, une fois de plus à l'Association des infirmières et des infirmiers du Canada pour votre centenaire. Et merci à l'ensemble des infirmières et des infirmiers présents ici aujourd'hui et partout au pays de consacrer votre vie à soigner vos concitoyens. Notre gouvernement est déterminé à rendre le Canada plus fort, plus sécuritaire et meilleur. Et nous dépendons de Canadiens et de Canadiennes altruistes, travailleuses et talentueuse comme vous, pour nous aider à y parvenir. Once again, congratulations to the Canadian Nurses Association on your centennial, and thank you to all of the nurses here and across the country who have dedicated their lives for caring for their fellow citizens. Our government is committed to making Canada stronger, safer, and better, and we depend on selfless, hardworking, and talented Canadians like you to make that happen. In closing, I'd like to encourage all Canadians to reflect 
as 2008 goes forward on the vital roles that nurses play in our society and in our personal lives. And I'd like to take the time, and I'd like to encourage everyone else to take the time to wish a nurse a happy birthday. Merci Goku. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Prime Minister. I'd now invite you, Prime Minister, as well as Minister Clement and Dr. Smidou, to come forward in front of the flags here to honor our 14 special nurses who have joined us today. Get Dr. Smidou in the middle. Thank you. Today's recipients of CNA's Nurse to Know Centennial Achievement Award are outstanding role models in the nursing profession. Collectively, they represent the wide variety of roles and contributions nurses make to the health system and well-being of Canadians, as well as to citizens in developing nations. I'd like to invite Mary Jo Haddad to please come forward. Honored for her outstanding contributions and leadership in nursing and health administration, Ms. Mary Jo Haddad, as you know, is the president and CEO and our host today. She's CEO of the Hospital for Sick Children. Congratulations. Ms. Joanne Sims, please come forward. Joanne is honored for her accomplishments as a nurse practitioner in adolescent medicine. She is from the Janeway Children's Health and Rehabilitation Center in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. Congratulations, Joanne Sims. Ms. Patsy Smith, please come forward. Honored for her leadership in primary care nursing and team-based care, Patsy Smith is a family practice nurse in rural Nova Scotia. Congratulations, Patsy Smith. Dr. Janet Bryanton, please come forward. Dr. Bryanton is honored for outstanding contributions to research and education in the fields of maternal child health and health promotion, and she's Associate Professor of the School of Nursing at the University of Prince Edward Island. Congratulations, Dr. Janet Bryanton. Monsieur Daniel Savoy, veuillez s'il vous plaît vous approcher. Monsieur Savoy est reconnu pour ses réalisations en neurologie et en soins infirmiers en réadaptation et il est chargé de cours principal en soins infirmiers à l'Université du Nouveau-Brunswick. Félicitations, Monsieur Daniel Savoy. <laughs> Our next recipient is Lieutenant Jeff Lee of the Armed Forces de la province de Québec, reconnu pour sa bravoure et son courage dans le domaine des soins infirmiers cliniques notamment pour deux périodes de service à l'hôpital de campagne canadien à Kandahar, en Afghanistan, le lieutenant Jeff Lee des Forces canadiennes. He is from the province of Quebec, 
honored for his bravery and courage in the field of clinical nursing, including serving two tours of duty in the Canadian Field Hospital in Kandahar, Afghanistan, Lieutenant Jeff Lee of the Armed Forces. Ms. Nancy DiPietro, please come forward. Nancy is honored for her achievements as an advocate of women, children, and her nursing colleagues in Africa, and she is a nurse manager at a community health center in Ontario. Congratulations, Nancy DiPietro. Dr. Roberta Woodgate, please come forward. Dr. Woodgate is honored for her groundbreaking research in the areas of childhood cancer, chronic illness, and disability. She is Associate Professor of the Faculty of Nursing at the University of Manitoba. Congratulations, Dr. Roberta Woodgate. Dr. June Annenson, please come forward. Honored for her leadership and mentorship in nursing education, Dr. June Annenson is Assistant Dean of Nursing at the Prince Albert Campus of the University of Saskatchewan. Congratulations, Dr. June Annenson. Ms. Mary Ann Stewart, please come forward. Honored for her achievements in primary health, health care and health administration, Ms. Mary Ann Stewart is the Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, Primary Care Division of Capital Health, Edmonton Region in Alberta. Congratulations, Ms. Mary Ann Stewart. Mr. Dion Thavarge, please come forward. A member of the Ninkwatkwa First Nation Reserve, Mr. Thavarge is honored for his accomplishments as an advocate and practitioner of mental health nursing. He is Program Manager of Healing Our Spirit, BC Aboriginal HIV AIDS Society's Injury Prevention Program. Congratulations, Mr. Dion Thavarge. Ms. Patricia McClellan, please come forward. Honored for her leadership in the policy and practice of community health nursing, Ms. Patricia McClellan is from the Yukon Territory. Congratulations, Patricia McClellan. Madame Céline Pelletier, veuillez s'il vous plaît vous approcher. Du territoire du Nord-Ouest, Madame Pelletier est reconnue pour ses réussites en soins actifs et son travail en soins intensifs. Félicitations, Madame Céline Pelletier of the Northwest Territories. Ms. Barbara Harvey, please come forward. <laughs> Honored for her outstanding contributions and pra to practice and legislation in the field of community health nursing, Ms. Barbara Harvey is from the territory of Nunavut. Congratulations, Barbara Harvey.
understand that Nunavut was the warmest territory in Canada yesterday. <laughs> I'd like to invite now the Prime Minister, Minister Clement, and Dr. Smidu to please come here for a group photo with our 14 national recipients. Thank you. I'd like to invite the nurses to take their seat again. Thank you very much. One of the legacies of CNA's centennial year will be increased public awareness of the diversity and importance of nursing roles and the significant contribution nurses will make to strengthen the health system for all Canadians now and into the future. These efforts will be supported by CNA's I Am A Nurse poster campaign set to roll out in health settings across Canada next week. Here is a sneak peek. On vous demande donc de diriger votre attention à l'écran pour visionner ce vidéo. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Canadian Nurses Association, Dr. Marlene Smadu. Thank you, Sylvie. Prime Minister Harper, uh, Minister Clement, my colleagues in nursing, and those of you who support us in our endeavours. Thank you for sharing in this historic event, the launch of the Canadian Nurses Association Centennial Year. As you saw in the presentation a minute ago, and as reflected here today in the staff uh, at, of, at the Hospital for Sick Children, nurses in this country are leaders in frontline care, community and public health, home care, 
research and ethics, health administration, roles that are as diverse as the health system itself. In the 21st century, nursing is a dynamic career choice, particularly given the challenges of waitlists and access to care. I encourage young people every day to decide their futures and come into nursing. As nurses, our contributions are priceless. Our work touches individuals and families, the viability of the health system, and ultimately the well-being of the nation. The nursing profession is truly remarkable. In the coming years, the world will be confronted by pandemics, by increased incident of chronic diseases, and the health needs of a growing population. Through new technology, major advances in genetic research, and significant changes to the roles and diversity of health professionals, especially in nursing, the Canadian Nurses Association envisions the Canadian health system of tomorrow, built on the Medicare system we value, will be able, able to overcome these challenges. I'm going to give you just one example. We have increased the number of nurse practitioners who are highly educated and well-prepared nurse cl clinicians by 60% over the last three years. Nurse practitioners, as key members of the health care team, will increasingly enhance access to the health system in the future by functioning as the first point of care, given their abilities to diagnose, to treat, and prescribe medications for the more prevalent and common illnesses affecting children, adults, and the elderly. The road ahead may be challenging, but we see hope in the future. Hope inspired by our 14 award winners that you've met today and many other registered nurses who care for Canadians in one capacity or another on a daily basis. We truly appreciate the support of Prime Minister Harper, Minister Clement, and the Government of Canada in recognizing CNA's centennial year and the important role of nurses. As you have for over 100 years, please know you can continue to count on us, now and into the future, to play a critical role in advancing Canada's health system and making it the best in the world. Prime Minister Harper, I'll ask you to come forward. I want you to accept on behalf of the Canadian Nurses Association and the nurses in Canada, this illustration of all that nurses do and contribute to Canada's health system seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Smadu. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, Minister Clement. Thank you to everyone for joining us today. We have a packed room on an absolutely abysmal day, so that means that you do care not only about our 14 honored nurses today, but our 270,000 registered nurses across the country. And we thank you for being here. Thank you, Mary Jo Haddad and Sick Kids for hosting us today. We will have lunch in the rotunda following the event. Je vous souhaite à tous une excellente journée, un excellent centenaire à tous les infirmiers et infirmières du Canada. Thank you very much for joining us in this historic event. Happy 100th anniversary, CNA. Thank you.